Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Massey Ferguson. Why the heck does my <laughs> straw swath keep turning on? It's making me crazy. I don't know what I did, but somehow I must have cross mixed a button welcome somewhere. My, what the heck? <laughs> the, my straw swath keeps turning back on. I turn it off and it turns back on again. We are finishing up the harvest here. Uh, Jared has joined us. He is up on field 26, right, with Kyle? Nobody's yes, playing. Jared is is at the 26 megabyte mark. Oh, Jared is still downloading to get on. <laughs> Kyle's up there by himself. Yeah. Jared's just up in Canada at this point. <laughs> Howdy. You know how it gets up here with all these igloos. The igloos. In internet computers keep freezing up. Oh, uh, yeah, the igloos. <laughs> so how's it going up there, Kyle? Good. Having a a prosperous harvesting time? I want to call it that. <laughs> so tonight we're going to have one long episode of Massey Ferguson Farm. It's really not going to be that long even because I promised Mark that I'd listen to a, a radio show with him at 11. So <laughs> we're going to have... Sure. Long. We've actually been playing for a little bit because we finished up the harvest on the on the big field, and uh, split up, and now we're doing these fields. But uh, we should get some gameplay in here with recording anyway. So the big exciting news is that I ended up picking up a. And you you said you have the G twenty nine, Kyle. What? You have a G twenty nine. Why? I don't know what's going. The steering wheel. The steering wheel? Do you have the G29 steering wheel? Oh, no, I have the G27. Okay. But that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. But it it's doesn't... The, it's the predecessor to the 9. Yeah, a lot of people, I think, actually like the G27 better. From what they, they didn't cluster up all the buttons from the shifter onto the steering wheel. Yeah, yep. But I'm excited, because I got the shifter with it and everything, so I won't be using it for... I won't be using the shifter for this game. But as you guys know, I'm always having trouble with my uh, my gas and brake pedals, and so that should hopefully clear up the issues that I'm having. Now, you have the farm sim controller too, don't you, Kyle? Yeah. And that's what you use for farm sim. But... Well, not right now. Oh, mouse and keyboard? Currently sitting on the floor in a pile. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you don't use it all the time. Oh, I missed again. Dang it. You don't seem well, to use it all the time. It's because of the... Uh to put it together and take it apart all the time. Right. Other than that, it's just like on my desk and in my way. Right. So. <laughs> right. But once I get that stand from Amazon, everything will get a lot easier. Are you going to buy one of those stands that you can just move it over to the side? Yeah. Just put the whole kit on there and just push it to the side and be done with it. Yeah, those are cool. I'd like to get one of those someday. Plus, you can sit a little bit lower, too, can't you? Uh, well, I mean, like, you can put the steering wheel in a more comfortable position. Yep. And I've seen, too, like, some of those, some of them have, like, where you can put the stick shift and stuff down low like it really is in a car. Well, that's what I, that's what mine has, is it's going to have a, it has a little tray that you can, you know, you just tighten, like, a little nut on it, and it'll, you know, from friction, just hold on to one of the uh, rails that holds up the table with the steering wheel on it. So you can have the console like down low out that's of the way. That's so cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to try it out, man. I'm, I've been. It's not supposed to come until next week. I was hoping it would come today, but he didn't get it into the shipping. So <laughs> it's like, oh, he like printed the shipping label, but he never shipped it. So it's like, dang it, it's probably not going to come till like Wednesday or Thursday of next week. I want it now. I want the precious. <laughs> so, so tell me why I can't download this Lostberg map off of your Google Drive? Because it's eight gigs, or it's uh, it's uh, not eight gigs. It's uh, I think it's like six hundred, six hundred and four megs. Yeah, I don't think I have that kind of room on the Google Drive, do I? Uh, My Google Drive is pretty full. All righty. Let's toss it in. Toss it in the uh, the file okay. share for Teamspeak. Can we do that? Is, is there enough room on there? Team. Yeah. TeamSpeak has file share. Yeah, it's in each channel. Okay, let me uh, let me do that. Hold on. Uh, let me I'm pause for a minute. We'll be 
we're back at you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure what version it is. Check, check in, like, pretend like you're going to join my server and see what version we're running. It should be on modhub.us. I'm sure they have the latest version on there. Modhub.us usually oh, has everything. Heck. Everything. Everything. Click add extension. Add your butt. No, I'm on a web page now that's continually. No, I found it. I found what the problem is. Okay. My switching tool implement button is the same. You press down and it it, it opens and closes my straw pipe. And so I'm doing that and I'm switching it off by mistake. So what happened, Jared? They don't have it? No, my my web browser's stuck on a infinite loop. Huh. I wonder if your internet's just going loopy. I don't think I'll be able to join in any case tonight. Well, keep working on it anyway so that yep. next time. Next time. Jared's a logging machine. We can always count on you when it comes to lumber. Now, unfortunately, this map is not very rich on those kind of like extra, extra, e extracurricular lumber activities. But mostly chop them and sell them. Nope, I didn't want to fold that up. What are you doing, Arthur? Ugh. Oh, you're talking about on the other maps where it's like turning it into pallets. And yes. We were making a lot yeah, all, all, all of... All those things that farmers never do. All the things... Right. <laughs> Unless they're tree farmers. But even then, they just cut them down, put them on a truck, send them away. Yeah, true. We've been making... Uh, Mike and I and Jared have been making good income on Snetterton. You're welcome to join us if you ever want, Kyle. The, uh, I'll get you the map. You have most of the files already because it's already stuff that we've been using. But I have them all in the G the G drive, except for the map itself, once again. Snetin. That's a big freaking map. There's a lot of John Deere stuff. I don't have those files anymore. Oh. Uh, I can I get got, you those. I got rid of all the John Deere files. Like, well, we're not doing any more John Deere farm stuff, so... Right. <laughs> I'll get you some of the newer ones. We have new tractors and stuff. I'll get you some of those. Um, so tell me about the potato farm job. Dri driving in circles, taking potatoes from the field back to the sorting machine, loads them into the cellar. So they have the cellar. It's all on the farm, right? Yeah. And every now and then the warehouse is like, hey, we need potatoes, and like, oh, uh, thanks for wasting our time. <laughs> now, when you unload the potato harvesters, do they... I think I've asked this before, but I don't remember. Do, do they do it on the fly? Yeah, they have to do it on the, as they dig. Okay, so you follow along while they're unloading. Yeah. So how do you do that? Do you have, like, a cam or something? Or how does it... You just use your mirrors? Well, no. It's there's a driver in the uh, in the in the tractor that's pulling the harvester, right? And rolls the boom on the harvester, and so he can move it around a little bit, and then he'll say, you know, forward, and so you'll scoop forward a little bit, so you can keep loading. He'll just keep doing saying forward, and it's up to you to as the driver to like basically just look out your window and just make sure you stay in your relative position to him. Okay. So you kind of look at the tractor, not the harvester. Yeah. And just stay next to him and then they'll yeah, say yeah. forward and you move it forward and you say backwards and you move it backwards. Yeah. Uh, and I, I really wish these the harvesters and the diggers were 
farming simulator. <laughs> because they're a perfect middle ground between that little two-lane thing and that half-million-dollar self-propelled rig. Right. And what it is is it's two diggers that, uh, well, I mean, technically it's one digger. It just kind of depends on how you set it up. Okay. It uses two. Double diggers. And what it all they do is they just pick the potatoes up and they pour them either out of the left side or the right side of the digger. And it just pours them right on the ground. Okay. And so what he does is... Uh, he does what's called 12-lane harvesting. The digger, one digger will pick up four lanes on the right, the other one will pick up four lanes on the left, and dump them into the middle four lanes. And oh. then the harvester picks up everything all at once and puts it in the truck. Oh, wow, that's cool. So it even it even, it even even harvests the row as it's, as it's picking up the excess that's already on the ground. Yeah. How cool is that? That's really cool. But it's a really nice system, and, you know, for his biggest machine, for the which is the harvester, that unit was only, like, like $200,000. Oh, wow. And, like, 150000 each for the diggers. Okay. Man, that's still a lot of money. It's, like, almost a million yeah, bucks. It's, it's a it's a lot cheaper operation than having that ginormous self-propelled monstrosity that's in the game. <laughs> True. You're looking at about half a, half a mil, five hundred thousand, three hundred three, one fifty plus one fifty plus two hundred. It's crazy though. But he probably, how much a year do you think he makes? He makes an insane amount of money. That's crazy. I mean, he he was making money almost this entire week because uh, we call the place the warehouse. Okay. And it's where they package the potatoes to be sent off for selling. Okay. And they they keep calling them up like every morning and they're like, hey, we need some more potatoes. And so we have to go, instead of loading up his sellers, we have to go fill up the warehouse. Okay. The problem is, is like even though they're buying the potatoes like pretty much off the field, uh, I mean, all we do is we just run them through the sorting machine and just put them in another truck and then take them up there. Okay. And, uh, but, like, it's the way they want them is, cause, is causing us lots of holdups, which means lots of money being spent for everyone just to sit around doing nothing. Oh, yeah, the farmer probably makes them crazy. Yeah, he, he hates it whenever the warehouse is like, hey, I need potatoes, like right in the middle of the week. And he's like, I was just trying to fill up a cellar. Go away. <laughs> I want the potatoes so bad, come and get them. Come and get them. Which they've tried to do before, but they send this rickety old semi that, like, leaks everything everywhere and contaminates his ground, and so he's like, nope, we'll just start bringing potatoes to you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's like, get that get that thing out of here. He's like one of the best potato producers in our valley. That's cool. How many, oh, ah, wrong button. Oh. How many uh, trucks does he have running for him? Um, like how many guys well, are out there working for him? Once all the drivers get here, we'll have but eight tandems and three semis. What's a tandem? Tandem axle. Ah, okay. It just has two axles in the back, and it's just a bed with a. It has a long bed with a live floor in it to pull the potatoes out. Ooh, that's cool. And that's what you're driving. Yeah. That's really cool. So when you dump it, then it, the top doesn't go up, right? It just it just dumps them out. No, you you turn on the live floor and you open up a little gate on the back. Okay. And they just tumble out the back, and you can dump them right into the sorting machine. Okay. I am not finding a good spot to turn around here. 
This is all fenced off. Shoot, I'm going to get on the main road. I don't want to. How are you doing up there? How's that field looking? Are you pretty full? You need some help? It's all right. I've already emptied the uh, grain trailer once. Yeah, my trailer filled up, and i got a half-full hopper here. Go around the block, I guess. Lossberg. We're in Germany now. Don't worry about me going 50. This is where you can see my gas pedal is kind of broken. Like that's I'm at my gas pedal is all the way to the ground right now, and I'm only at 75% throttle, which is why I bought the new wheel. But let's face it, these pedals are. 18 years old? Something like that? Clearly seen better times. Yep. Now, how old is the, the G27 you've had for quite some time, haven't you? Yeah, it's a few years old. Now, weren't you saying that it has trouble with Windows 10? Yeah. Because the, it relied on software that Logitech didn't move. Uh, didn't move? Windows 10. Well, they didn't, they didn't recode it for Windows 10. And so that software doesn't work anymore. So does the, right, the, Logi the Logitech Gaming Suite? It needed it needed the Logitech Gaming Profiler. Oh, okay. But have they updated? Uh, they've updated software. that now, right? What, what's no. the profiler do that the software doesn't? The the profiler was specifically for like their uh, Extreme 3D Pro joystick and. The steering wheels and stuff because it allowed you to take very specific control over how the thing performed. Right, because I use the profiler. I think they, they updated it because I have the profiler now on my system and it's Windows 10. I never use it though. I use just I just use the Windows profile thingy. But the profiler is nice because you can really tweak it for different games. So do you do you need want me to come bring the harvester over there, Kyle, or do you want me to, like you think you got it covered? I got it covered. All right. What I'll do is I'll I'll put this away then, and I'll come out and I'll I'll drive. Uh, how 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 far are you along? About halfway. Oh no, I'm I'm working on probably the last quarter of it. Oh okay. All right, you got it almost done then. Cool. Kyle and I split off to do the smaller field, so um, that's what, that's what's going on here. What's going on? Yeah, I think these are about as big as the harvester as you could get on this map. I mean, really, it's pretty tight back here. So but I did it'd some... It'd be impossible to put anything bigger. Uh, I did some research, and the Massey Ferguson 27, at least the ones that I saw online, are not square. They actually have angled tops. Um, so from that white line where it says Massey Ferguson up to the top, they're actually angled in. I don't know why they made this a box aside from maybe just modeling issues, but I, if they can go this far, as far as they've gone with all this stuff, I don't know why that would be an issue. But maybe there was an older, I, an older 27 model that was different, like angled differently. But the newer well, ones don't. I'm like sure what? they were just pressed for time to, because everyone was like, "We need it now," and they're like, "Fine, we'll just make a thing and call it the 27." Yeah. <laughs> we're having to rush it. Everybody was pounding them to like, please hurry. Yeah, don't hurry. Take your time. It's volunteer, isn't it? I mean, I'm pretty sure those guys do it on a volunteer basis. Yeah. But I mean, they're still trying to do excellent work, you know, on a good schedule. But right. The waiting public are very impatient and fickle. So I guess it was just a, it was a rush job. They're like, just put it in there, and they'll be happy. Well, and they seem like later. mostly they are. I think I'm probably one of the few people that complain about it, but I'm not happy. I'm not content. You know, for the most part, I, I like Logitech software and their products. I love Logitech. I've been very happy with everything that I've ever owned from them, pretty much. 
I've got four or five other products sitting in front of me. <laughs> yep, I got the G13, yeah, I have a, the I have keyboard. A G13, G19, G700S. I'm using their <laughs> H309 headset. <laughs> it just works. I got the, I have the 13. I've got the the K something wireless keyboard. Cause I just need something to type on. That's how the 13 for everything else. I have the 600 uh, MMO gaming mouse, so it's got like the 12 keys on the side. Ooh. And I have the M700 trackball, which I got at one point when my uh, wrist started bugging me. Do you still use that or no? So uh, For some things I do. Gosh, this looks like we might be able to mow again before winter. I'd say after it rains on Wednesday, we should check again. Before Friday, when it turns into winter on this game. Well, if it gets too cold, it kills the grass. It's going to go down. Which is kind of silly because grass doesn't die over the winter. What temperature? What temperature? Well, it doesn't die. It goes back to stage one. So Wednesday, it drops. The ground temperature drops to 27. That's probably going to do it, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it just went by because date. Like, well, like, gra the grass doesn't die. The root stays active. Right. But it's everything above ground that was exposed to the cold. Well, it's going to be 53. Like, it snows on Thursday, but it's still going to be 53 degrees on Wednesday. We might be okay, Trent. We'll, we'll check it out Wednesday. If not, we, if we don't get any, it's fine. But it would be nice to add some to that silage, you know? Well, it also depends on what day night does. What what? What Tuesday night does. Tuesday. If Tuesday night freezes, then Wednesday won't matter. You're right. Right. Let's see here. I'm gonna get this running and come on, put that thing out. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I just piped the roof of my tractor. Piped it off. Nope, wrong tractor. Pipe off. Nope, stop it. Get in the tractor. There we go. I went up to my mom's house to help her with some stuff with the furnace, but I got there like she wasn't home yet from work. And I, I brought my truck because I knew that would happen. I had like a bunch of things scheduled. and I'm like, well, I'll take my RC truck and I'll play around with it. So I got up there and got about 10 minutes away from her house in the valley, which is like a, we have like a, a metro park by where I live. And I'm like, oh, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll play around with my truck in the metro parks down by the river and the rocks and stuff and have fun and then go to my mom's house. So I get there and I pull in the parking lot and I take it out. And I, I brought the wrong controller for my truck. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> what a bummer. I got some video of, uh, like what goes on during harvesting and oh, cool, all that. cool. What I really wish I, what I really wish I had is a GoPro. Yes. And to like throw it on the field as he's coming. Oh, that'd be awesome. And, you know, it get pulled up into the machine and you know end up inside the truck and then go through the sorting and then fall into the cellar. That'd be awesome. <laughs> be hilarious. But alas, I am poor and cannot afford a GoPro. GoPros are pretty expensive, man. Especially if you mm -hmm. get the one that's in that little, like, armored case. Well, the new the ones... Water, the waterproof? Yeah, the new ones don't... You don't need that anymore. The new ones are just waterproof. You don't have to use that case anymore. The the gray ones, the, the or the blackish gray ones, that are like the, la the, fo the fours and the fives, they come in a protective case, so you don't have to waterproof them. They're waterproof already. No, it's is, not so much waterproofing. They just need to be tougher. Like, right. Yeah, because I mean, they're a little bit fragile. That that thing's got that thing's got to put up with, you know, being sucked up by a giant machine that's normally tearing the ground apart and survive on, survive on just the harvester alone, six different belts. Whoa. Oh, you'd want to put the the GoPro through all that. Yeah. Ha! It might go. <laughs> it might not come back, though. 
Actually, I need to keep. I'm just going to leave this attached because we're going to need it to deliver all this stuff. The memory card would. The memory card would make it. Although it'd be, it would be tough to uh, kind of figure out which way it was tumbling and whatnot. And right. <laughs> well, it would just uh, be you know the experience of the potato. That's pretty neat. That's actually a cool idea. Potato. I like that idea. Never seen before. The inside of a harvester from a potato's point of view. Well, the harvester's wide open. You can see the side of it. Oh, true. Yeah. But it'd be just, you know, the whole journey of the potato. <laughs> you know, just be there to, you know, be at the cellar to catch it when it falls onto the pile. Or it could be a movie about really bad tank players playing World of Tanks. <laughs> the, the, jour potatoes. the journey of the potato. Not that I'm very good myself lately. You know, it's funny, though. I checked because I was like, dang, I have just like the last... Since they changed the matchmaking, my my gameplay has been in the toilet. Because when Black Chicken and I play together, we are always, always bottom tiered. And it's really hard to score well when you're on the bottom tier. Mm -hmm. So I, I looked into it, and I checked our stats, and I thought, well, maybe my stats will be bad. And sure enough, I've been down a lot like since I used to play. Uh, but Black Chicken is also down. <laughs> His stats are way down. And I'm like, well, there you go. Statistics don't lie. Every, everybody's down. Unless you play Tier 10, you pretty much get bottom tiered all the time, which stinks. As you know, Jared, you've been with us for those mm -hmm. exciting adventures, too. So they kind of broke it. They need to fix that. And I doubt they will. People, it, got, it took them so long for, to, to finally make the changes, I think. If people complain about it and want them to change it again, they're going to be like, nope. Armored Warfare is going to be adding a new uh, game mode or whatever. And they they brought it up on their Facebook page, and immediately everyone was like, why? Nobody plays the game Nobody plays the game mode yeah. you can have except for PvE. Right, why that's right. Why add anything else? Don't bother. We're not going to play it. And even for the for their episodes thing that they're doing for their campaign mode mm -hmm. there were only a handful of people that actually did all of the requirements for episode 2 because it was like participate in 40 PvP matches par participate in 40 global and you can't <laughs> yeah and so like everybody did the PvE one because that one's easy but only a handful of people got the uh like the into all of the requirements knocked out and everyone was complaining it was like how come you made episode one unbelievably easy to complete and then episode two like impossible. Really impossible like what were you thinking and they're like oh we're trying to get more people to play the other modes i'm like nobody wants to play those <laughs> yeah just work on what works play, for you i want to play armored warfare because that, of the PVE. Uh oh, did you forget your trailer? I'll get it. That Just, that being said, I like the mechanics in Armored Warfare better than World of Tanks. Yeah, there are. It's, it is better. And and it's, I think. I, think I the wish they would. Just came out. You know what uh, they need to do? They need to do an Armored Warfare World of Tank or uh, um, World War Two edition. Then I'd be way into it probably. I like Armored Warfare just because it has tanks that like. You know, makes sense. I know. Like, I know. World, World of Tanks is like a, just a crap load of paper tanks. Well, I wouldn't want that, but I would love to have it so they had like Shermans and Tigers and stuff like that. It would be great. Tanks that actually existed, but, you know, there's a lot of World War II tanks that did exist. And they have wheeled vehicles. Like, I honestly don't get what the big deal is with not putting wheeled vehicles in this game. Of course, the, people would complain, oh, it's not World of Tanks anymore. It's we World of armored vehicles right hey Kyle I'm getting your trailer I'll be right back with you for you I've oh, got your I, head your header trailer well I I have to get my uh, okay I'll put it away the, for you the tipper for well the harvester still has grain in it oh okay all right so go ahead and get the tipper then and we'll empty it out and I just picked up the uh, the header trailer with the the little open massy. 
Beautiful day for tractoring. For outdoor tractoring. 66 degrees, just like today. It was in real life. It's been a really cool summer. I mean, the temps are a little low for summer, but maybe in this area it's cooler by the lake. Where did you take that harvester? Ah, I see it. Did you see our fallen bales? Yeah. Pretty sad, huh? The trailers, or the trucks exploded. 